Hey there, everybody. This is Alex Shakola from Wallace & Real Estate Investments. I wanted to put together this slide deck and presentation to share with you our newest multifamily uh, project that we just put under agreement. It's aligning with where we want to go as young investors and developers, and uh, I'm very excited to share this opportunity with you. The property is 861 Main Street in Holyoke, Massachusetts. This is a 13-unit apartment complex building that we put under agreement with a very large value play component, um, and it looks like a winner. So let's dive into it. If you don't know, Harrison and I are a two-man team. That's me on the left. That's him on the right. We've been developing real estate over the last three and a half years. Uh, that's a photo of us on our very first project on March 17th, 2016. Uh, we worked on that over the next five to six months, and we fell in love with the process and the business model, and we just never turned back. Over our three and a half years in business, we've been able to develop and sell over 21 homes and condominiums around Boston. We've been able to raise $13 million for our real estate projects, and we're currently developing 21 units right now. Uh, we're thankful to be part of the Fortune Builders Mastery Platform and community. We've done a lot of deals with you guys, and we're licensed real estate agents in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. One thing that we really love, and it's been a game changer for us, is that we have our own construction company, Harrison Construction Group. That entity is licensed and insured, and it ensures that we have quality and control throughout our projects that we can oversee with a much greater level of detail. Here's a couple examples of some projects we've done in the past. Uh, this is a three-family new construction building that we bought, and we built it from the ground up in East Boston. This luxury single-family home in Brookline, Massachusetts actually got us landed on HGTV. That was a beautiful property. And uh, our first ever three-family gut conversion was done in East Boston. We got a lot of love for East Boston. Um, so as you can see, we've done a lot of really high-end and, and heavy lift renovations around the city. Um, and through that experience, we've built some core values as we've worked with people. And here they are. I'm just going to ring them off for you real quick. Pride. Act in a manner that makes you proud. Culture. Relationships go beyond work. Courage. Go into every situation with courage. Humility. Be open to constructive feedback. Resilience. When things don't go as planned, win anyway. That's a big one for us. We've cut our teeth facing a lot of opposition and a lot of ups and downs. Uh, so that's a, really, that's a really big one for us. And then guts. Be bold and force growth. So to dive into the deal, Holyoke, Massachusetts is on the western side of the state. This is two buildings, a 10 unit, that's that big brick building, and then a three unit multifamily home right next to it. Uh, between the two buildings, we've got five three bedroom apartments and we've got eight two bedroom, one bathroom apartments. We're picking up both of these properties for only $360,000, which is like 30 to 35% of what it would cost to build them new. Our exit strategy is to stabilize and refinance these properties or potentially sell them off. Our deal highlights, these are existing legal apartment buildings with full 13 units. We don't need to go through any crazy extensive permitting. Um, we're purchasing far below replacement cost. We actually like that six of the units are vacant. That gives us the opportunity to renovate and stabilize them quickly. Both properties have new roofs, uh, and really the renovations are light across all the apartments. Um, the building is structurally sound. There's no rot. Uh, the basement doesn't take on any water. And what we love is that each unit has individual gas meters, individual electric meters, and all of the electrical systems have been updated with new sub panels. One of the cons to the property is that it doesn't come with parking. Unfortunately, in those metro areas, uh, it, it's just, it's part of the game. It will deter probably some renters who have to drive. There is a lot of street parking, um, but we don't see this being too much of an opposition for our renters. So here's a kind of a breakdown of the renovations that we need. Uh, we're looking at uh, roughly $200,000 to stabilize this property over six to nine months. We're looking at 150 new windows. We've got to install a new fire alarm system. We've got to do some renovations to the back deck and kind of shore them up a little bit. Uh, we've got $10,000 for demos and dumpsters, and then approximately $90,000 for just general renovations. That's uh, cleaning, painting, appliances, uh, some linoleum flooring is needed, and then you know a handful of like electrical fixtures and 
um, electric baseboard heat as needed. Not every unit needs the same level of uh, uh, of work, so it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of a mix. Now we're interested in potentially selling the three uh, the, the three family home that's next door. If we do that, we will 100% absolutely vinyl side the building for about 15,000, and then we'll build in a little bit of contingency fund uh, just for a rainy day. One thing that's really important to understand when you're analyzing property, commercial property especially, is the cap rate and what that is. So the cap rate is a financial benchmark investors use to determine what type of return they could, year, they could earn excuse me, year after year. So it's the net operating income divided by the purchase price. So for example, if your building makes $5,000 and you sell it for $100,000, that is a cap rate of 5% you would see cap rates low like that in close city centers like Boston, New York. They trade in like two caps, three caps, areas like that. The market cap rate in Holyoke is around 12%. I've attached two comps there that have recently traded within the last couple months between 105 to 12%. This measurement is one of the ways investors can analyze the value or future value of a building because it's just a simple formula. So once we've got the building rented, uh, we're looking at, you know, eight two-bedroom apartments. We're going to be looking at $1,075, maybe $1,100 a unit. And then the three-bedroom units, we should be able to get $1,300. I got these market valuations by calling the Section 8 office. Um, so these are guaranteed rental figures that we can get uh, from tenants that need housing assistance. If we can make more with market rents, that's just gravy. We're looking at approximately $50,000 in operating expenses. We've got accounting, travel, insurance, landscaping, maintenance. Uh, you've got your management fee, pest control, property taxes, common area electric, trash removal, water and snow. Since these buildings don't have yards and they don't have parking, we don't see a very large cost for maintenance or snow removal. Excuse me, we don't see a lot of cost for landscaping and snow removal. Um, which is definitely something you want to think about here in New England. So as you can see, looking at the cash flow, year one, the property is really not going to make any money. It's just going to essentially, you know, borderline tread water. Year two, though, once we've stabilized it, we'll be able to get a new bank loan uh, around 6%. If we refinance it at $625,000, you can see uh, that the property now begins to perform really well. And using a cap rate around 12%, we're looking at a million dollar valuation for the building. If you go even more conservative and you trade at a 15% cap rate, the new value of the building is around $850,000. Uh, and that still is uh, above the 70% threshold mark to refinance and get a loan close to $600,000. So anyway, you look at this thing from, an, uh, you know, from a cap rate analysis, it just looks like a really good winner. So our exit strategy, we're gonna fluff and rent the vacant apartments within the first 90 days. We're gonna repair the units and rebuild trust with the existing tenants in the building and work to raise their rents, so raise their rents over time. Um, and then we're gonna potentially sell the three family home next door. Three families are selling between 215 dollars to $230,000. That would pay down a big chunk of our mortgage. Um, so we haven't made any decisions, but it is an option. Uh, at the end of the day, we'll 100% refinance this property uh, to recoup all of our hard costs and our interest expenses and pay everybody back. So for our capital, we're looking to raise approximately $125,000. That's 20% of our acquisition, two points for financing, four months of mortgage payments to get this property uh, basically to break even year one. We've got closing costs and insurance and then $17,000 of working capital. That's basically the money that we'll use for repairs in between bank draws from our lender. Obviously, you can invest partially or in full if you have it. Um, we'll give you a promissory note from 861 Main Street LLC, or we can write you into the operating agreement as a limited operating partner uh, entitled to get your money back within 12 months at an agreed upon interest rate. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to shoot me a call. That's my number, 857-264-1322, or you can shoot me an email. Check out the website, see some of the work that we've done. We'd greatly appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end of this.